John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. Hey. Nine certainly focuses the mind. Appreciate it. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Gee up! I ain't much of a fella for gossip. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Really? Come on! I guess I should probably go. So long. Whoa there! You don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixed some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> It was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Almost there, Mr. Marson, just over this hill. Hey. Oh, no. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. for you. Bill Williamson! 
Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. Well, you're alive. Speaking the truth now. I just finally found herself a husband. You know what I mean? Really? Well, I'll see you later. Hasta pronto. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Howdy. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you.
Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. Become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. 
You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarlane. Let's go! Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy. I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane.
looking well, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I... All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! Come on, boy. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Catch up! 
go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. 
Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? <clears throat> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Let's head over to the saloon. What for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. There's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. As you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come on! Go! Beggars can't be cheap. 
bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Yeah! safe around here. Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. 
Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. Where is he? Come on! How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Building a factory over a field ain't gonna help nobody I know. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Come on. Move up the canyon Whoa. towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. From you, that's a real compliment. Hell no! For the love of God! Boy. You ain't leaving. 
leaving Pike's Basin alive! Baller twins have got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why do man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps showing about. Look lively, they're all across the ridge. You might as well get it up now. Side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. he would tell you he's all about the book. Letting the judge decide a man's fate, but he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. More rustlers! Take them down! I'm the goddamn law. Thank you. 
Stay close! This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Bollards won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair.
Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat, come on! I don't want to keep Paul waiting. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to signify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Hello there! Hey, how's it going? Just finished helping the patient. How can I help? How are you, friend? You need something for that gout? Maybe it's time I'll bother new Hello. Dear sir, hello. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Much obliged. me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time.
I've never lost a single... Stay away from Bill Williamson's gang. That mouth of yours is gonna get you in trouble. That's it, come on, Careful, mister. Dance all over your behind. here you want map I retire here take map you earn it I'll happily take this off your hands my friend
Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that... Yourself learned how to herd cattle. Yeah! Come on! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're. they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Whoa there! Come on! Get behind the herd! That should start them moving in the right direction! Assuming they aren't put off by your smell! Nice job, Come Mr. On, Marston! Boy. Stay behind them, Mr. Marston! Easy now! That's it! Come on! True calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Let's go! Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. 
Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I? To Armadillo! Godspeed! Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for.
of your mouth count for an anecdote in these parts? I'm mad like hey. you. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. And let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk. Mistake, sir. I never see that. Excuse me, miss. Er, uh, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only. You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Here, this might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Hello there. Repent, and he will curse your enemies. Yeah! I heard someone bag that guy. Out Why don't you skedaddle now, Mister? I told you all I know. Fine, I'm a dealer. Welcome to you. I'll take a whiskey. You got what you wanted. Now get out of here. 
He told me to take father's college fund and use it to buy land out here with him. You don't say. Thanks. But raise your heart and give it to the king of kings. You stand in the eyes of God. Hey, mister. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. Electric belts, if you need to lose weight. Maybe it's time I bought a new buggy, or perhaps a rack of sparks. Welcome to my establishment. That kind of thing don't concern How are you, friend? This Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. And the marshal's to blame. Much obliged. You're welcome here anytime. Between the pilgrim... Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. They know 
anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just more plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the words out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Poor vultures. This don't look so good. We best take a look, boys. Still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. They found leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches. Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's search the area. Shed's clear, Marshal. Come on. Shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Be a 
Scouts got them killed. Biggest yeah, thing to happen at Coops of late. My week on the best day. Ah, since you're here. All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, you see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Let's go. Yeah. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Come on. Keep following this road. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just more plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Look, Marshal! More vultures! All right, let's go check it out. Body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! If you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. All right, boys, let's have a look around. Come on. Nobody's in the shed. Hey. Let's go.
going far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Are you kidding? for it when it's clear. shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes man up boy we gotta get after those bandits follow me we can still catch them John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Oh, my God! 
Run away. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail.
Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm -hmm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Whoa! 
That's a kill. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to snip out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister.
Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out... Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. I have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman's better, if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Come on!
Mr. Martin. You can get him from there.
Mr. Martin. Lean into it. You got it, Mr. Martin. This don't feel too good. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, Come on. Down, nearly boy. got you. That's it. Take it slow now. Hold it down. Hold down. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Try not to spook too much. Let's see it, boy. Yeah. Are you
so many folks in trouble.
Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal.
Come on! You know, John's the lucky governor. He's going to open the rail lines to Relinde. 